So the presentation is this. <laughs> That's, that's all I have, thank you. So, no. Hi everybody, my name is Caitlin. Um, I'm the director of a circus company and we do a lot of really weird shit. Uh, but before that, I, can everyone hear me? Yes? Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. I was like, I can talk louder, but I'm not going to. Um, so I'm the director of a circus company right now, but before that, I was a touring circus performer working at Renaissance fairs. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, who's been to a Renaissance fair? It's me. I've been to all of them, every single one. That's not true, but it's closer than you think. Um, and here's the thing. It's like Renaissance fair performers take it really seriously. Like they think that they're on stage at the biggest, I, like some magical, amazing festival where they're getting paid a million dollars. And I just go, like I go backstage and I'm like, you guys, we work at a renaissance fair. <laughs> and it just, it blows my mind. Anyways, okay, so um, there's a thing that happens at most renaissance fairs. It's called a secret show. Everybody said that with me, secret show. Yeah, um, it's not secret. They usually list it on the schedule. Uh, the other thing about the secret show is that it's usually run by men. Uh, and at the secret show, you also get more tips, which means more money. I like money, like a lot. <laughs> I like to buy things. And so it makes me really angry when I watch all these like tall, handsome, traditionally like normal white dudes making way more money than me, um, who are probably less good at their jobs than I am. I'm an aerialist by trade. I climb up shit for a living. Um, no, go on, do go on, yes. Um, they stopped. Anyway, so, um, so I'm an aerialist. I've been called like the hardest working member on circuit. That's not great. But then one time somebody called me the Lady Gaga of the Renaissance Fair, and I was like, that's fine. We can stick with that forever. Yay. Anyway, so I was working at this cute little festival in Boston, um, which is not cute. And it's run by a woman who is insane. Um, and, I, and I don't say that lightly. I mean, like, she's sort of, it's a whole thing. Bonnie. Um, anyway, so I'm working there and there's this secret show that's happening and <laughs> it's these two dudes, one of whom is Joxy Whipper, who is a lovely man. Um, <laughs> we used to be friends and then misogyny. Um, and then another guy who is actually great and I love spending time with, but unfortunately I cannot remember his name. So that's not great. Anyway, so um, Jacques is the one who ran the show. His name is actually Jack. Wow. Um, so Jack is the one who did the majority of the planning, and then this other guy, and Seth, there we go. Seth, he, d he put a fish hook through his eye. Um, Renaissance fairs, guys. Uh, <laughs> so just, yeah, keep that in there, right in there. Um, so we, me and my show performer at that time, her name is Megumi, uh, we were doing an aerial show that was 30 minutes long, which is a really long time to be holding yourself up in a full body plank and pull up all at once. Um, and these guys are doing, like one dude is doing the pain show where he's shoving fish hooks in his eye and the other guy is doing this whipping show where he sings um, uh, pop music while whipping stuff. And it's like, oh, okay, this is weird. Anyway, so then afterwards they would do the secret show at night where they would get paid money by the audience to drink beer and do fun, dumb tricks. And I'm like, I wanna do that! <laughs> Instead of working really hard. Um, so I did both. Um, the first year uh, that we were there, I said, I'm just gonna show up. Like Megumi and I will show up and you can throw knives at us? And they went, yeah, okay, great. So we were the person, people, that we would stand there and be like, please, sweet baby Jesus, don't hit me. Um, and they never did, which was amazing. And then the second year, I was like, now we're going to be in the show. Um, and then we made a lot of money. It was really fun to get extra sweet, sweet cash money in your pocket for just doing nothing and drinking on stage, which is an amazing thing. Uh, and then the third year, they invited another guy. <laughs> The light's yellow, so I'm going to keep speeding. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous. Anyway, so I'm going to keep talking, though, because it's doing the thing. So uh, the, the third year, another guy decides that he wants to join our cute little club. Um, Kevin. There's never a great guy named Kevin. 
Sorry, any Kevins in the audience, there are two kinds of Kevin. There's best Kevin and then worst Kevin. Um, this was worst Kevin. Worst Kevin, whole season, screws with my plans, takes a cut of my cash, is just like messing with the whole show. It all sucks until the last day of the festival. It was great because this is like fall, so I'm like super bundled up and just like not looking my best and just like I'm so cold and I hate everything. And um, Kevin brings a six pack of raw eggs to the secret show. And I'm like, what are those for? A trick. He says, he's gonna do a trick. And I'm like, great, 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 great. Love this, love this for everybody. Um, he does his trick, it goes over, fine. Uh, and then at the end of the show, he said something snarky and I really don't remember what it was, but it wasn't important because then at that point, I reached down into the carton of eggs that is right there and I just grab an egg and he's walking down the center aisle like he's the coolest thing since sliced bread and I just take that egg and I threw it at the back of his head and it hit him right here and exploded upward. <laughs> and it was amazing <laughs> and that's the day that I learned that I have really good aim when I'm angry <laughs> so I guess the end of the story here is that I'm the little Miss Bossy Pants because I throw things at people when I get mad thank you all so much and have a wonderful <laughs> evening